All right. Now comes the Duterte Initiative. Executive Order Number 10, where President Duterte created a 25-man consultative committee to review the 1987 Constitution. Initially, only 20 were appointed, and then two others followed, but the full 25 complement was never reached. So for four months, February, part of February, March, April, May, and June, the CONCON labored, and finally on July 3, by unanimous vote of all its 22 members, the CONCOM approved the draft of the federal constitution. And on July 9, the CONCOM presented the draft to President Duterte, hoping that President Duterte would endorse it unequivocably to Congress. This did not happen, of course. Uh, Not yet, anyway. One of the most recurring questions asked of us is, Why do we need to change the Constitution? And even now, there are still a lot of questions along that line. Two members of the 1986 Constitutional Commission are campaigning vigorously against any change in the 1986 Constitution. One of them has been heard to declare that this is the best Constitution in the world and therefore it should not be changed. But well, first it was framed by, a, by appointed members because they, even if they were the brightest minds at the time, they do not have the same stature as the 1934 Constitutional Convention because they lack the people's mandate. And then since all of you have read the 1987 Constitution, You will notice that there are about 90 provisions in the 1987 Constitution that have the collatilia as may be provided by law, as Congress may hereafter provide, etc. These, we feel, are the result of compromises that the Constitutional Commission had to deal with at the time they were deliberating on the proposed Constitution then the Constitution is excessively long. Well, unfortunately for you, this present proposal that we adopted is longer than the 1987 Constitution. There is a lot of repetition. Perhaps these are unavoidable, where in Article 2 on the Declaration of Principles you make reference to family, and then you have one entire article on the family, that may be ground for criticism. But when you are right there and looking at how to craft the charter, you find that it may be necessary to do a little repetition of principles. Then it was drafted under tremendous time pressure. Because of the time constraints, under which the 1986 CONCOM labored under, we are, we are faced with problems like composition of the JBC on whether Congress there should be represented by only one member or by two, one belonging to the House of Representatives or the Senate and the Senate, or, well, that uh, has already been resolved by the Supreme Court, of course. So, in my case, personally, I have been a student of constitutional law for well nigh over 50 years. And for the last 30 or so years, I have advocated certain changes in the Constitution. When I was a member of Congress, I was chairman of the Committee on Constitutional Amendments, and we crafted a virtually new constitution then. It was a constitution that provided for a parliamentary legislature and a federal system of government. But of course, nothing came out of that. Now we were given another chance to put in a little of what we knew into what will become, hopefully, a valid proposal to amend the Constitution.